Olympia London 1920 and Ted Kid Lewis in the white shorts. In action against Johnny Basham at stake, the uh, British Runaway title, the European Runaway title, and the Commonwealth or Empire title all on the line. So, Ted Kid Lewis, the former British featherweight, welterweight, and middleweight champion, what a great fighter! Won the World Welterweight Championship in 1915 after he was a British featherweight champion in 1913, just two years prior. Fought for the World Middleweight title in 1919. And then became British middleweight cha uh, champion later that year. Very smart, slick fighter, Ted Kid Lewis in the white. So Ted Kid Lewis then putting the British and European titles on the line. And his opponent, Johnny Basham, is the reigning Commonwealth champion. That's up for grabs as well. This is scheduled for 20 rounds. All three minutes duration. Ted Kid Lewis from St George's in London. So it's around four of this 20 rounds. And these are two welterweights. And Ted Kid Lewis punching furiously with both hands from St. George's in London. Born Gershon Mendeloff. And Johnny Basham from Newport in South Wales. So Johnny Basherman, the former British World Away champion, lost in a European title challenger for the same weight. And became European and Commonwealth champion at welterweight in 1919. So deserves this opportunity, despite the fact that Ted Kid Lewis has had an absolute hatful of fights. Comes into this one, Ted Kid Lewis, with a fantastic record. 162 wins, 61 by knockout, just 14 losses and 10 draws. So, Ted Kid Lewis then, keeping the momentum going here. And one wonders how he ever made featherweight. Here he is at the age of 27 as a welter, and there's not an ounce of fat on his body. stone and a half heavier than his previous incarnation as the featherweight champion and uh, Johnny Basham well he's been a welterweight all his career so far so the Kensington Olympia packed in the rafters for this a huge night for both men And to date, Ted Kid Lewis has fought Jack Britton on 19 separate occasions. With varying degrees of success, won a few, lost a few, drew a few. A decent left hand there a moment ago from Johnny Basham. Trying to use his speed here to befuddle Ted Kid Lewis.
smart body punching there. So round six it is. And uh, Ted Kid Lewis concentrating very hard here against Johnny Basham, who won't stand still. Both these men well aware of each other's abilities. Ted Kid Lewis, a very fiery puncher. Very active individual. This triple header, very finely poised. Ted Kid Lewis for me has got the edge. But Johnny Basham proving a hard man to nail at times. Well, a couple of good jabs there from uh, Lewis. Referee working inside the ring. There was a time, of course, when the referees worked outside the ring initially. So round seven of this, 20 rounds. British, European and Commonwealth welterweight titles on the line here. Commonwealth champion Johnny Basham against the British and European welterweight champion Ted Kidd-Lewis. So far, things looking fairly bright for Ted Kid Lewis. He has been, by and large, the aggressor throughout this one. He's landed the better punches, but Johnny Basham is not there to be hit a lot of the time. There's the referee working inside the ring once upon a time. They worked... Uh, up on a stage, way away from the ring, then they move down to a platform outside the ring, and here they are now working inside the ring. And appropriately dressed for dinner. Well, Basham hasn't given up yet. He wants to keep this uh, Commonwealth title and, of course, add the British and European. So, round eight. And Ted Kid Lewis has landed some pretty hurtful small punches that uh, sometimes are easy to, easy to miss. And of course, relatively inexperienced. Only 35 fights under his belt. Doesn't compare to the 186 so far that Ted Kid Lewis has uh, taken part in. Well, once again, a whirling attack there from Ted Kid Lewis. It's actually a very, very competitive match. And that's what happens when you get two champions together. Oh, nice uh, left-right there. And Johnny Basham walked in behind a left hook but missed.
both men now showing these signs of blood around their faces and bodies as this one wears on into this eighth round. It's been a very tough physical battle, this one. And it's a lot of blood on the chest and the face of Johnny Basham. And this Welshman is a tough guy. The blood smearing over the body of Taked Lewis. Into round nine, then, of a scheduled 20 rounds of action. Triple title header. And Johnny Basham has fought ever so well. They've managed to clean both of these men up to send them out for this ninth round. The blood is flowing. Lewis like a caged lion. He's ready to pounce at any opportunity. Lewis still looking for an opportunity to land a big punch here. Catching Johnny Basham coming in now. Well, decent right over the top there from Ted Kid Lewis. The legs look the wee bit unsteady on Johnny Basham. Excellent fight, this one, between two excellent title holders. Very hard fought. Almost a backhander there from Lewis. Once again, the blood is flowing freely here. Both men looking for openings. Right over the top from Basham. Well, decent up up there on the inside from uh, Ted Kid Lewis. There's not much left in this ninth round now. And there's never been a great deal between either of these two men. Take Kid Lewis, of course, using his extra experience to good effect a lot of the time. And that's been a big difference between them. Basham should be very proud of his effort here. Oh, left hook there to the uh, temple and from Lewis. The sight of blood here has spurred Lewis on somewhat.
Well, it's all over. They pulled Johnny Basham out due to bad cuts around the face. So Ted Kid Lewis wins the Commonwealth title to add to his British and European versions. A winner in nine.